When I first sat down to film this video, I realized that it could very easily turn into just a repeat of a very similar video that I'd done recently. So I decided not only to talk about products that I will not be repurchasing, but I decided to add an extra element to this video. So instead of just products that I will not be repurchasing, I want to do products that I love that I still will not be repurchasing. There are different reasons here and I am so excited to share these goodies with you. I love all of these products, so this isn't gonna be like, a, I'm not repurchasing because I don't like them. This is completely the opposite. I will not be repurchasing, not because of the quality, but because of outside factors. And this really got my brain going, so I'm actually so excited to share this list with you today. But just before we do jump into the video, if you have not already, you know what to do like and subscribe it would mean the world to me i do so many project pans and shop my stashes and get ready with me with bright fun colorful makeup today i'm rocking a kind of tealy blue smoky eye and if my base looks a little bit janky i've just come back from the office so it's been a long day but i think it's held up quite good nonetheless i've been on that youtube grind recently so definitely show some love it will definitely be greatly appreciated so let's jump in to this video. I'm not gonna go in any particular order, I'm just gonna grab and go. So first, this is my RCMA foundation palette. Now this is old and is pretty unused. Like, look at this. I got this pre as a gift and I was like I'm gonna become a MUA and I really made strides to become a freelance makeup artist and then COVID hit. <laughs> And I couldn't do freelance makeup artistry anymore. It was like a sign from above saying, don't do it. I'm not spiritual or anything like that, but I do definitely believe in signs and uh, not to make myself the main character because that could really come across as wrong. But when COVID hit, it just hit me maybe this isn't the right path for me. That's how I coped. Everyone coped in their own way. <laughs> Mine was delusion. So I will not be repurchasing this even though I do love it. You can see my shades are used and none other shades are used. But I do like it. It's very full coverage. I definitely like that. But of course, the reason I won't be repurchasing this is because it's a freelance kit product and I don't do freelance anymore. I think I did like two freelance jobs and then it hit so i was very lucky there <laughs> on myself i really do enjoy it maybe i'll try and pan some of these browns as bronzers as well i can definitely get some use out of it i hold close to my heart because it was like a path of what could have been but yeah this is definitely not an everyday foundation palette I am not a foundation palette girly. <laughs> Speaking of foundation, this, I really do like this. This is my Urban Decay Hydromaniac foundation. I have learned I am an all or nothing kind of girl when it comes to base products. I either wear full coverage, baking, powder, full glam base, or nothing. I do struggle with acne, even though I am currently on antibiotics for my acne. I do struggle every now and then, and I had really, really bad acne at one point, so I got used to wearing very full coverage. Maybe in the future this will change. I do like this just for very easy breezy days when my skin is very, very good. When I'm not on my period, my skin is incredible it is the best my skin has ever looked ever so i do like it for that time but it's a very specific time and i just feel more comfortable in full coverage i still love this i think for summer this will be coming in strong i also wear this a lot for a lightening kind of shade when i mix foundation it works really really well for that i do really like it i'm very very glad that i tried it but I've learned maybe not my perfect foundation product. I might as well go in the order that I do my face because I started with foundation and now I'm moving on to my Coty Airspun. I have repurchased this three times, I think, and I think this is gonna be the last. When I first bought this, I was brand new to makeup and all of the beauty influencers in like 2016, 2018 were telling me 
that this is the best powder that ever, ever, ever has been made. And since then, they have been a lot better and I've definitely branched out recently. Before, this was the only powder that I would ever buy, the only powder that I would ever use and I was just in the mindset that this was the best thing ever. I still like it, I still love the memories attached to it. I love the smell, I know a lot of people really don't like the smell. I love the smell. But this is definitely my third and final one. Once this has been completely used up, I've kind of learned that there is more to life than this powder, unfortunately. But I still love it. I still really, really do enjoy it. But I think after three repurchases, it is time to say goodbye once this one is done. We can't cling on to people forever. If I love him, let him go. <laughs> okay, cheek products, benefit cookie. This pains me. This really does pain me because I have a pan in this. So, I mean, we're, we're on the way to finishing this. I adore this highlight, make me up misser, held me at gunpoint to buy this. Not literally, okay, just want to preface that. Don't wanna get anyone in trouble. But she loves this highlighter and so do I. However, Benefit is not cruelty free. Why? Why? I have been on a mission recently to only purchase makeup that is cruelty free, not tested on animals and Benefit is not. And I am so upset by that because I really like Benefit cheek products. They're really, really nice. I really enjoy them, but I am refusing to buy anything that has been tested on animals. I just can't do it. I mean, look at my boy Maxi here. Would you test a highlight on him? No. It really does pain me to have to let brands go. Maybelline has been a big one that I have struggled with because I loved Maybelline and I just can't repurchase things that aren't cruelty free. It's not right and I refuse to support that with my money. I just can't do it. So I love you, but I can't repurchase you and you pain me so much. So the next product is a cheek palette and it, this kind of represents all cheek palettes, I feel like. This is my NARS high profile cheek palette and I really do like this. It's not been used very much at all and I am learning, I don't use face palettes very much. I do have a project pan called Pan That Face Palette where I take a face palette and try and finish it in the whole year. I'll leave the playlist linked up above if you are interested in that and I've had really good success with that. But the reason that I decided to start that project in the first place was because I realized I'm not using face palettes at all and I have so many that are just neglected. So I pick one face palette every year and I absolutely tunnel vision on that palette, try and get it finished and the rest of my face palettes kind of go unloved. So it swings and roundabouts because I am finishing a palette but also the rest of my palettes go unused. I'm a single cheek product girly. I have decided that, I have figured that out in the past few years. So face palettes in general, I love them. The idea of them, if you're going traveling, oh my God, perfect, everything in one place. But I don't go traveling enough to have like 10 face palettes in my collection. That is 10 years of pan that face palette if I finish them all in a year, which probably won't happen. Right now I am working on two Pan That Face palettes. They're two little duos and that will probably last me all year. So I don't need more face palettes. Unfortunately, I'm taking the L. I'm taking one for the team. I don't need face palettes. Even though I love them, I cannot repurchase any of them. Once my Pan That Face palette is finished, that is it. I mean, it's discontinued anyway, so I can't repurchase it, but that is it, okay? I'm not buying more face palettes. Speaking of Pan That Palette, it's Modern Renaissance, baby. This is my Pan That Palette for 2023, and it's kind of rolled into 2024. You can see I have four shades left, all of them with huge pans on them, and I will not be repurchasing this because, oh my God, it has taken a year and four months to get this far. I think when I finish it, it is gonna be one of the best days of my life and I'm gonna admire this empty palette without having a brand new modern renaissance because the thought of hitting pan in any of these shades again, I, no, no, no. <laughs> I love her. She is my baby. She is my child. But just like any mother, 
I need a break. It's a beautiful palette. I have loved working on it. I still love working on these four shades, but holy crap, the thought of a brand new modern renaissance gives me anxiety. It really, really does. I love you, mwah, but please leave, you know? <laughs> The next palette might be a shock if some of you know me and know my makeup preferences. This is the Blue Moon palette and this goes for any of the ColourPop monochromatic palettes. This is what this one looks like. Oh my god, I love it so much. I love blue eyeshadow. I could wear blue eyeshadow every single day and be very, very happy. However, the reason that this is in this video is because all the monochromatic palettes are a lot. Okay, they're a lot. Let's say I finish this whole palette. I, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but I probably won't want to wear blue eyeshadow for the rest of my life. And it's the same with like the main squeeze. I probably won't want to wear red eyeshadow for the rest of my life if I end up finishing that. It is such a daunting palette to even look at. And when I say this, I'm not just talking about the blue moon. I am talking about all of the monochromatic palettes. They are so daunting. And the thought of bringing in another same palette with nine same shades crazy to me i'm glad i get to play around with them and indulge in my blue fantasies with this palette but the thought of repurchasing any of the monochromatic palettes is terrifying because that is a lot of one color no I have enough. I have enough. I know the monochromatic palettes were like such a phase for a long time. And I actually really do love them, but I get what people mean when they say it is way too much. I get it. You can't really be too creative with them, I find, because what are you gonna do? Blue. Uh, okay. <laughs> what else, you know? Obviously there is placement, things like that, but I have learned over the years that I am a color story girly. I love a good color story and just blue doesn't cut it for me anymore. But I love it. I love my blue moon. I've said this so many times. Blue moon is my baby girl. I love you. And finally, the final product, kind of two in one that I'm going to talk about are my cake liners. Now, the thought of even coming close to finishing one of these is a fantasy because there is so much product in here. You use the tiniest amount of product when you use these. So I probably could use this every day for the rest of my life and still not be close to finishing it. However, I will not be repurchasing or purchasing in general any cake liners because I have my Inglot Jura line. I mix eyeshadow with Inglot Jura line and then bam, I have every single cake liner color that I could ever imagine, ever think of. I'm not gonna be spending extra money on these. Yeah, they're kind of a little bit more convenient, but I have a mixing palette. Why don't I use it, you know? The thought of going and buying like a big palette of cake liners when I have like 500 eyeshadow colors crazy to me. So I love them. This one especially, this is Banana Split. I love a yellow pop and this is perfect for that. But I just, I can't repurchase because I have so many yellow eyeshadows that would also be beautiful liners. And now I've got yellow all over my hands. So that's nice. So this is it. These are a few products that I love, but I just cannot repurchase. What is something on your mind throughout this video? Is there something in your collection that you really, really love, but you just know you could not repurchase it if your life depended on it? Let us all know down in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions. But with that being said, this is where I'm going to love you and leave you. Like and subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Bye-bye!